All right, 5.2, last question of the paper. Timothy will fly from the United States of America to Palestine to, Palestine to play in a tournament. Before he leaves, he wants to exchange this amount of money, $2580, important because this is an exchange rate question, for new Israeli shekel, NIS. The currency used in Palestine is the shekel. Okay, now that's quite important because here we have so many different types of currencies. We only have four and yet we only really care about two, right? The United States and the shekel, right? Which is up here. So don't get too stressed about it. Go to the questions. They'll lead us where we need to be. Use table seven and the information above to answer the questions that follow. State whether the new Israeli shekel is stronger or weaker. So you literally have to give one word, stronger or weaker than the South African rand. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so units per NIA. So it's basically saying how many units of this will give me one unit of NIS. Okay, so here you can see that five units of, of um, South African Rand will give me one NIS, which means that the NIS is stronger, right? Over here you can see 0, 0.27 gives me NIS, gives me one NIS, which means the US dollar is stronger than the NIS. But in this case, with the South African Rand, the NIS is stronger, okay? You must start getting familiar with how currencies work. These questions are very, very common, okay? And you don't want to get caught out, right? If you're converting more of one currency for less of another currency, the currency, the latter currency, is stronger, right? So in this case, I'm doing over five rand to get one NIS. That means the NIS is stronger because I require more of the South African rand. Last question. Calculate the amount Timothy will receive in new Israeli shekel. Okay, so we know that he's got, um, let me just write the number here, he's got $2580. Okay, that's what he's got. So now we need to convert that into NIS. Okay, so... What's important in this table to note, right, is it's saying one US dollar gives me that many NIS. So we know that my answer when I get it should be larger than 2,580 because the US dollar is stronger than our NIS. But over here, it's the NIS per unit, right? So it's saying if I give them one dollar, right, so if I give them one dollar, how much are they going to give me in US? Okay, so now, I mean in NIS. So if I give them one US dollar, they're going to give me 3,66 NIS. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say 2,580, and we're going to times it by the amount of NIS that we get for each dollar. So it's pretty simple. 2,580 times uh, 3,66061. Okay. We just pop that into our calculator. 2,580 times 3,66061. And our answer is, and remember it's a currency, so you have to round it off to two decimal places. We have to say NIS, because remember, it's an actual currency, 9444,37. It's 37 because the third decimal place is below five, and therefore we round down, and that is our answer. Okay, that is us done, not only with this question, but also with the paper. I hope that was helpful. I'll be uploading paper too soon. Good luck, and chat soon.